here we're recording. But um, let me make sure that I have my shit together because it was like <laughs> music. So, <laughs> oh my god, what's happening up here? Sorry, we're, we're we've we're just launching on YouTube, so we're very much okay. sort of like working out <clears throat> this dynamic and this sort of physical aspect of everything, <clears throat> and trying just not to be ugly. <laughs> That is going to be a long, see. long battle. Yes. Welcome to Gears and Queers. I'm Jake. I'm Chris. And this is our inaugural YouTube launch. Ta-da! It's our first video. How are I'm you feeling? One. I'm feeling very terrified, Jake. I'm feeling scared as well. Well, Pride Month's wrapping up, and so we thought we'd sit down and film a... <sighs> okay, I, I gotta be honest. Uh, we didn't actually plan a video. We've been working on this for a while because, to be honest, once the drugs and the booze wore off after Pride Month, I realized we hadn't filmed anything. So, here we are. And what are we talking about today, Christopher? We are talking about automotive companies and LGBTQ representation. The exploitative mass branding and pride onslaught of rainbow packaging ads and slow-selling BMWs. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna dive in deep. Deep. So for Pride Month this year, uh, there's been, as far as I can tell, two companies that have really done anything for- Any type of Pride campaign. Any type. Um, BMW, they've teamed up with Jonathan Adler, who's um, a queer artist, um, visual artist, to launch like a fleet of BMW 8 Series convertibles designed by him covered in sort of like this rainbow uh, livery. Even the um, even the headlight lenses are like smoked rainbow. Like they reflect <laughs> rainbow. So they're gonna lead like the World Pride March in New York. I think that type of like exhibition is like my problem. It's kind of like the face value, like here it is. Right, because BMW doesn't really have a history of like actively supporting and promoting anything LGBTQ. No. No. And the other company that we've seen doing this type of thing this year is Infinity. So they did a post on their Instagram. And it was what was the Q45, like the original Q45, their first model in the United States. With the, the, it was like some like vine looking uh, yeah, yeah. thing. And it was like ch changing colors, like it was the different rainbow colors. And it was like interesting. It, and, was, it was cute at first. And then I was like, this is like the bare minimum. Like they tried, but then I think the best and arguably the worst parts of that and any of the posts that we've seen are the comments. Two issues here. The BMW thing makes me kind of angry because they're inserting themselves into this like massive display of pride that's going to be on like the world stage. I mean, it's called World Pride, but I have seen no reports in any articles or anything citing like a donation or the fact that they're like funding a part of the parade or anything like that. They're just sort of supplying this like massive rainbow image for the world to see. And that's sort of it. Like you did what you had to do to get to get past. Which... And we know BMW has a history with the art cars. Yeah, that's, that's true. Done over the past. But then also the 8 Series just came out like a couple weeks ago, like made its public debut. So the timing, I think, is yeah. just a little bit... It's a little suspicious. A little suspect. It's a little suspect, yeah. I mean, you know, so like what, these cars are going to be like ferrying all the grand marshals of the parade. That's like over 100,000 people strong. Um, so it's a massive spectacle for them. They're not like touting like a foundation or anything. Um, and I'm sure, you know, a lot of automakers have like LGBTQ alliances within mm -hmm. their company, like a lot of companies do. So I'm sure there's something there, but it just seems a bit out of left field for them. Not on the image front, because you said the art cars, but it just seems very sort of, I don't know, for the hell of it, mm -hmm. because they can. But yeah, the infinity thing, I'm going to pull this up. Okay, it's like that OG sort of like, Arbored Vine Infinity logo. And the original cars didn't have a grill, they had that like wide mouth bass. Look. <laughs> so it's it's sort of like fluxing between like I don't even I don't even know what to call this rainbow. I guess it's rainbow, but it kind of just makes me they feel like I'm in a tiki bar. It's like it, 30 seconds of Photoshop. Exactly, yeah. It's very again like holy 
almost over we have to like do something yeah it's like again it's sort of it's the same it's the same vein of a lot of it's like it just feels like bare minimum we gotta love wins hashtag happy pride like i mean it's cute like you don't I, it's cute it just feels very sort of last ditch effort but you also haven't seen a lot of automakers post anything like i checked i checked mercedes like we checked a lot of automakers and i didn't see much um if anything as much as you can say that opinions are changing, that these companies are sort of making their opinions more known, that they do support their workers. And, I, and again, they do. Like a lot of, you know, Fiat Chrysler and a lot of places have these LGBTQ alliances, which we'll get into in a second. But it just sort of feels like, of course, they're taking advantage of Pride Month. Like it's all eyes are on it. You kind of have to realize that corporations really don't care about the people and their message. Like they care about their product and it's selling. Big T. Big T. But you brought up the comments on that Infinity post. What do we got? Um, Shireen Villanueva. Hey girl. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. So ready for June to be over. Okay, well, you know what I'm ready for it to be over? Her <laughs> social security. <laughs> you guys, people that are like, I'm on my third Infinity will continue to support and girl. Yeah, Infinity. they just gotta follow. People You're welcome. Like I bought an Infinity, but some people. Oh, uh, gonna sell Lord, my Q50. Lord Swoldemort. Lord Swoldemort said, "I've had enough of this." Shit. So simply sideways, I'm driving my car into a tree. Um, go off because I'm obviously busy. you didn't spring for the limited slip. So <laughs> that's just the other issue here is these things seem pandering, and then you dive in, and you realize that maybe some of these things actually do matter, especially when it comes to something as. Um, largely heterosexual and such a boys club that is car yeah, culture industry and yeah. enthusiastic scene yeah 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 and and the opinions that come from some of these people I and mean, then you're just like okay maybe an instagram post is kind of nice it's it's confusing it's an attempt but then the problem i have and i think that we both do is that not all these companies have a great history of actually supporting their lgbtq like employees but there are a couple who do. Some do though. Some do though. And some of them, I was actually pleasantly surprised by a couple of these. I've got them right here. Oh, oh, if I could just, I just gotta, okay, I gotta get, just, I just gotta get it. Oh God, <clears throat> sorry, that was really far away. Was it? So I, we pulled up some like initial forays into LGBTQ sort of support and benefits in the, in the uh, automotive industry. Um, Toyota, Comprehensive Domestic Partnership um, benefits back into the two. We'll link this article, by the way, down below or up here or just sort of maybe like a, sort of here. Maybe here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Expanding tax benefits, adoption support, transgender health benefits. We love it. Toyota. We, Toyota. we stand. We've, okay, let's be real. We stand. We always stand Toyota. The Supra, it's not a BMW. Chris, don't tell the people that. <laughs> You go, Toyota. Fiat Chrysler. Oh, the 124th, that is a gay car. That car is Fiat gay. brought a B rainbowed 124 Spider to the what? World Pride Festival. No, it wasn't the World Pride Festival. It was it was um it was the Motor City Pride. And so it was Detroit. Oh. Um and we, there's a picture here. Ding. <laughs> gay and Lesbian Alliance. Again, a lot of these companies have that, so promote issues in the company, things like that. Um, I'm not sure how effective that is in resolving any type of workplace discrimination or issues, but it's arbitration. It's there. Ford, 100% rating from HRC. I'm not really sure how comprehensive that is. GM, uh, for more than a decade, same-sex domestic partner benefits, um, spousal benefits to married LGBT couples in 2012. A little um, old-fashioned that they have to be married, considering that's not it for everyone, but go off, I guess. The company was the first automaker to join the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. Something. But wasn't that Saab was a part of General Motors when they were the first manufacturer? Oh, God. Oh, go. Please go, Chris. Yes. The first Saab. manufacturer to include LGBTQ people in their advertisements. Honey, who doesn't live with Saab? Um, that's what I'm saying. The 9-5. The nine, the nine, the nine, three, the nine thousand, the nine, seven X, which was really a trailblazer. We don't, I don't, we don't talk about that. that. We don't talk about the nine seven. 
Oh, well, that's like, I, you know, Subaru is like, they took, like, that's why there's that whole trope of like lesbians loving Subarus. Lesbian Cadillac. And you know, there's that website that talks not just about like car companies and what they've done like publicly for LGBTQ people, but how friendly they are from like a buyer's perspective. Gay wheels. Gay wheels. Was gay wheels. Com. Ding. That's where a lot of this information came from. Again, will be linked down below. Shout out to Gay Wheels. Amazing. Amazing. I feel like the question is like, what, how does this all tie together and how does, like, how do these companies continue sort of like the visibility that they're kind of displaying singularly in June, but also take care of their employees and increase sort of like their representation in their ads or their campaigns or just, I mean, you know, they say that every year it's Pride Month, but like for us, Pride Month is every month of the year. Like that's, that's how we live our lives. So it'd be kind of nice for, I think, brands to sort of take a page out of our book and sort of put their money where their mouth is and not just during June. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our criticisms are about like, they're speaking of now, like when it's trendy and like where it's a, like a hot topic right mm -hmm. now. So like when it's hashtagable, when, when the hashtags hashtag are rainbows. rainbows. When they're still rainbows, because yeah. they're not always. So like, what do they do? Like, what are some of the things that they can do to remedy that situation? And I think like what you said about continuing that visibility, continuing that like promotion and speaking up like just for this mm -hmm. one month all the time. It's one thing to post a rainbow logo or post a, you know, have a series where it's like for a big major parade, but like continuing the conversation about these types of like protections and rights and visibility of the LGBTQ community yeah. as it relates to one of the biggest, like a car is one of the biggest purchases like someone yeah. are going to make. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's for everybody, like an undeniable reality. Yeah. You know, for something that massive of a purchase, it's important to feel like you're putting your money into someone who does value you as a consumer. But it's also not about simply valuing the consumer and showing them in your ads. I mean things are trending upwards, but the you know, marketing sort of always seems to like ebb and flow, and I'd like to see it be like a, a constant, steady stream of people that look like you, I mean, like us is not hard to find, we're men, but you know, non-binary people, trans, trans people, um, people of color, just, you know, people that are historically have not, have been on the, like the fringe of, of advertising, especially if something so mainstream as, as like the automotive industry. And what it represents. But then it's also not just about representing for the consumer, it's your employees. And we, you know, we touched on like Fiat Chrysler, and Toyota and Saab and Subaru and Ford um, with these LGBTQ alliances within the companies, which is a pretty a pretty standard thing in a lot of corporate culture, I feel like these days. But why aren't those people driving BMWs, eight series convertibles in World Pride? Do you know what I mean? Like, why isn't BMW looking within? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm sure these people are, are you know, the Grand Marshals. I'm, I'm sure are are people who have you know, a, a stake in, in pride and, and, and being in, in our community. But I think, you know, it's not about that. It's, you know, bring these people, bring these people out of the factories and the office buildings and all that. And, and not, again, not just for June, like, you know, not just for others, but like their own. Community. Yeah. Yeah. Their yeah. Own Put them in the ads. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if, if, if your whole, if your whole shtick, especially during one month of the year is, is to, show up and show out for who is trending, you know, do it with the people who work for you and who make you money and who build your product and make it possible for you to be you. Exactly. Exactly. And who, and who give you that clout to be able to say, look at us, like, look how accepting we are. Like, yeah, you know, I think it's, you know, bring the people from behind the scenes. I think that's, I think that's genuine. I think that's like genuine acceptance and, and showing that not just, you know, models and things like that which is is completely valid and as well but i think that's i think people who maybe are are lacking in that sort of visibility in this scene like need that's i think that's the route to take is sort of combining it all and that's the tea did we just fix the automotive industry and probably lgbtq not. rights probably not but we're trying <laughs> well Thanks for watching.
Did we just finish our first YouTube video? I think we did. I think we did. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming soon. And Chris's favorite part, like, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. What do you want to see? What do you want to know about? What do you want to see us do? What can we do for you? It's Gears and Queers.